Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. And today, um, I thought what we would do on our solo world here is go ahead and try to tame ourselves one of these guys, uh, Chalicotherium, right there. So, Chalies, um, as some people may know, are really big, like, sloth gorilla creatures. Uh, this one's only level 45, so we are probably going to go ahead and find a higher level. Um, but they are super strong. They get really angry, and they can throw poop at you, or rocks, or dirt, or whatever it is. Um, if you touch them, they can attack you, and yeah, they're super powerful. Um, so they're definitely interesting, and they have a very unique taming method. So they are a passive tame, and they typically tame up with beer. So um, I do have a beer barrel back at the base, and I have crafted up about 16 jars of beer, uh, which does take a water jar, the uh, ones that take crystal, and the beer liquid, which you can craft in a beer keg. Um, on top of that, I've also gone ahead and crafted up this primitive Chally saddle, which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is learned at level, yes, 42. Um, and I'm actually also going to purchase a soothing balm here just to kind of make this process a little bit quicker. Um, now this Chally does look pretty cool, but it is only level 45, and guys, I think we can do so much better. So I am going to go around and look for a better Chally to tame up, and I will bring you guys back when we have found one and are ready to start the taming process. So I will catch you guys in just a little bit here. Alright guys, we are back. Um, as you can see, I am currently wearing full ghillie armor. It's getting a little bit dark here. Uh, yeah, okay, I do have bright night on. Alright, so what I have found here uh, is a level 120 male chally. Now, that is pretty good. Max level is 150 on this game. Um, and as you can see, there are quite a few challies in the area. There's actually probably about five or six of them that I've seen just right here next to the Hidden Lake. Uh, so I didn't actually have to go very far to find this guy. Um, yeah, so what we are going to do is sneak up here with our Soothing Bomb and Soothing Bomb this guy, and then we are going to try to tame it because a 120 is definitely a very good level, and it is kind of stuck on trees right now, which is actually super ideal, guys. Like, I'm really excited that it's stuck on a tree. Oh my gosh. All right, so it does lose taming effectiveness really quickly. Uh, all right, but uh, you have to wait until it's hungry again. That's a little weird. Um, there we go, okay. Oh, so it doesn't take too long to tame these guys at all. A level 120 only takes two beer jars and with a soothing bomb, like, super fast, guys. So you could technically tame these guys um, incredibly quickly. All right, let's go ahead and equip that saddle there. They look super cute. They kind of look like cows. And they do sit down, which is super cute. Um, all right, there we go. Now I'm actually on. Let's go ahead and kill all these. Oh my goodness. All right, so now we have our Chally, and oh my gosh, guys, uh, this thing is actually kind of a beast. So that's the throw attack. All right, so it's actually... It's actually a rock, and then it does a little bit of a bite attack as well, it looks like. Um, yes, okay, so that is a bite attack. So what I'm doing here, um, I kind of go through the different attacks with you guys. So for those of you who have not tamed these guys yet, uh, they are a really, really strong mount. So if you are just normal attacking, um, the tap on the right hand side or the regular attack, the first attack is just a swipe with the arm. It has a really wide AOE. Um, and look at, it just does so much damage, guys. Like, it just swipes like crazy. Um, it's gonna take like no time to kill that Moss Chops. There we go. Um, now, also, they have a couple of other alternate attacks. So if you swipe down, they do a bite attack um, with their head here. And as you can see, that also has a pretty good AoE, but it essentially just like destroys um, plants and things like that. So they are very good berry gatherers. 
They're very good uh, wood and thatch gatherers as well, mostly thatch, which is pretty great. Uh, and then their last attack, if you swipe up on the left-hand side of the screen, is that rock attack. Um, I hit the pteranodon there. I didn't mean to. There we go. Oop. So we can just keep throwing rocks uh, at this Diplo endlessly, and it does like 400 damage every time we throw a rock at this guy and it connects, guys. Look at this. That's insane. Uh, 400. Okay, more like 300. Um, but definitely a thing and a crazy amount of damage, uh, honestly. And if you're looking at the AoE these guys have as well, they are just super powerful. So definitely a mount worth having. Um, but you do have to use quite a few Ingram points in order to get them because you have to learn how to make the water jar, you have to learn how to make the saddle, and you have to learn how to make the uh, beer keg, which really only has the one use on the game for taming this specific creature, guys. Uh, now, that being said, it is probably worth it since this is actually probably a really great caving dino for, like, the central cave um, and is actually just really powerful for, like, uh, PvP style play as well. I'm gonna go ahead and have the Pteranodon follow us. I still need to name this guy. Um, now that I'm remembering, I have, I do have a list of name suggestions. I just haven't chosen one yet. Uh, I did go ahead and name the Onik and the Spider that we tamed in the last video. Um, the Onik has been named Batman. That was a pretty common request. And the spider has been named Webster because I saw it and liked it and thought it was perfect. All right. Uh, this is going to be... Whoa. Look at the knockback they have. So the wild chalies also throw what looks like mud. Oh my goodness. Look at the crazy amount of damage we do, guys. That's just insane. I don't even know how we're doing that much damage, uh, but we definitely did. Tons. Uh, there we go. Oh my gosh. Uh, we're just destroying everything with this, guys. I'm honestly super blown away by how great these chalies are. They are just so, so incredible. Um, I kind of think we can even go to the snow biome and kill some Rexes. I bet we would be okay. Uh, the snow biome is a little bit of a ways off, but not too, too far. All right, and I'll be checking some other Chalies around as well. Because I would actually really like to find a female Chally uh, that's a decent level. And so far, all I have found are these males that are pretty low level. There was one low level female over by this one, but uh, I think we can definitely do better. Get out of here. Eh. I don't know what that little rear up they do is. Oh my gosh. That's so crazy. I don't even know what all of the attacks are, but um, they're really great. Um, I wonder why I'm throwing rocks that way. That makes no sense. There we go. All right. Oh my goodness, guys. Chalies are absolutely awesome. Um, yeah, so I think what we're going to do is head over to the snow biome, and I will bring you guys back uh, when it's a little bit lighter, and we are going to actually do some real fighting with this guy. We are going to try to take on some Rexits, I think. All right, so I will see you guys in just a little bit. All right, guys, so we are back. Uh, I just put a few levels into melee on this guy. Uh, it is super cool, the uh, little level up animation. They just have a little bit of a roar, um, which is kind of interesting for a bit of a cow-like creature, I think. Uh, it looks like that RG actually killed the Rex that I had spotted a minute ago, which is a little unfortunate, but there you go. It was only level 10. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and kill that RG. It was level 95, but it was totally worth the time to kill. All right. So we are going to head up here into the snow biome just a little bit. I do have the Pteranodon following us still because um, uh, in case we need to leave the snow biome quickly due to the extreme cold, because I did not bring my fur gloves with me like I probably should have. Uh, but that is all right. 
And as you can see, uh, Chally's also spawn in the snow biome, and that is a level 135 male, which is better than what we have. Um, but you know what? It's okay. I'm going to stick with what we have. I'm going to leave that one alone, though, just in case I change my mind later. But for now, I am pretty happy with the level 120 that we have. We do have a little bit of extra beer, obviously, but... Um, I'm going to save it for if we find a high-level female, because I would tame a high-level female, uh, mostly because I am definitely very interested in breeding these guys. I think that would be a super fun thing to do, um, but so far I've mostly seen males, which is a super big bummer. All right, are there any Rexes around at all? Come on, guys. I definitely want to fight something worth the while here. Um, and we are still kind of doing okay in the snow. Uh-oh. No, no, no. Nope. Not what I wanted. Can we not? Ugh, the Pteranodon got us stuck. Oh, no. Okay, that's great. Um. Alright, may have to hop off here. And move the Pteranodon. There we go. There we go. Okay. Kind of an issue. Did not see that coming. Uh, very, very rarely, I think, have I ever actually gotten stuck on the Pteranodon as it is. All right. Let's keep going here. I definitely want to find a Rex, guys. Normally, they are all over this area. Um, it does look like there are some wolves we could fight, which I am up for since they are pretty strong as well. Eh, there we go. Oh my gosh, a level 125. Well, now I feel bad. Oh my gosh, they are doing so much damage, guys. Um, alright, so it looks like we may... Oh no, what are we... Come on. Hit, hit. There we go. Alright, maybe we can't take on a Rex. Um, we have 4,000 health, and they took us down that fast. That is crazy, guys. So it looks like... Even with a lot of health, these guys just take, like, a ton of damage really quickly. Um, which is kind of strange considering how much armor we have. But, uh, I guess it could be a thing. They were pack boosted and there were quite a few of those wolves. Uh, I'm just not used to being taken down quite so quickly. Now, I have not, uh, in this game yet seen a blueprint for a better Chally saddle. I would have really liked to. Uh, but I've just not seen one as, uh, as of yet. Alright, we could probably take down that Rex. I don't know if we could take down the male Rex, but we could take down the female Rex. I am a little bit worried now, though, because we are so low health. Uh, so maybe, maybe we won't do that, and, um, actually we're doing okay in terms of cold. It's just a matter of healing this guy up. Uh, I wonder if there's a quick way to heal him. Um, we're gonna have to try some of this beer as well. Okay. Uh, it looks like that... Oh no. <laughs> How am I drunk? I thought the Chally would be drunk. Yes, it's drunk. Okay. Okay, so it's losing stamina really fast. But it looks like it might also be healing a little faster. I don't know. It's a little bit difficult to tell. Um, that's kind of an interesting effect. I don't think I've ever really used beer in the game before, guys. It's uh, it's one of those items that just doesn't have a lot of use, uh, as far as I can tell, other than taming these guys. And these guys are definitely worth taming. But the beer itself doesn't have much use outside of this tame and so I've just never really uh, played around with it I've never really considered um, the uses for it uh, I guess I guess it makes sense that it would drain your stamina and give you health <laughs> oh my gosh guys alright so we are still super low on health so I might actually take a little bit of a break uh, wait for this guy to heal up once again, now we're out of stam because we have that uh, drunk buff on us. Oh yeah, our stamina is going to stay gone for a little bit, guys. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and wait for a little bit of a heal here. Um, and yeah, nothing helps. Alright, I'll wait for a heal and then I will bring you guys back. Um, in just a minute, we're going to take on one or two more creatures. Uh, we'll kind of see how that goes. Oh no. 
We're gonna get torpored up here, I can tell. Uh, actually, no, we killed the RG. Alright, we're fine. Um, okay, so I'll bring you guys back in a little bit when we are um, all ready to take on another creature here. Okay, guys, so that actually took most of the day cycle to get over being drunk, and apparently there is also a hangover effect, uh, which is kind of fun. Um, but yeah, it did give us time to kind of move down this area once we kind of got a little bit of stand back, uh, cross Smuggler's Pass, and then we're heading up Far's Peak a little bit, because sometimes there are a little bit bigger creatures over here. Now, I am noticing... Hey, a compi. Um... I, I am noticing that this creature actually does take quite a bit of damage um, from other creatures generally. So it is just something to be aware of. Um, wait a second here. Level 10. Ah! That hurt. What was that? That was crazy. Um, I feel like we got hit a lot there. A little bit more than normal. That's super unusual. Um... That was a lot of, like, sounds all at once. Okay, so that's a level 10, and that is also a level 10. Both female, uh, one female, one male. Uh, not what I'm looking for. I would really like a higher level female, if at all possible. I do want to breed these guys. I'm super curious about it. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to head up here a little bit, and we are going to see if we can hit um, a slightly larger creature here, guys. I definitely... Would love to take on something like a Rex. Um, hopefully we wouldn't die. I do know this creature, as I said, it does take quite a bit of damage, so I am a little bit concerned about that. Um, oh my goodness, nothing, guys. This is maybe the cleanest I have ever seen Fars Peak. Uh, we do have a few scorpions coming after us, which is totally fine. Uh, we'll just throw rocks. And again smash. Alright. And then we gotta hit this RG, of course. There we go. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> so, they do alright um, in terms of damage, which is really, really great, but again, I am a little bit worried about how much damage they also take, so uh, it is kind of a thing. Alright, guys, but I do think that we are gonna start um, getting to the end of the episode here. Uh, Maybe not in the best area with all of the sabers around. Let's go ahead and kill this guy before we end it off. All right, there we go. I think we're all right here. Okay, so um, one more thing I want to do before we end it off, guys, is we're actually standing on the chalet. I love that. Um, oh, and we can tap him to sit down. Uh, I probably need to be out of that mode, though. Nope. I want him to sit. There we go. Okay, I think the sit is honestly the best feature of the Chally because it's so cute, guys. They just, like, they sit on their little hindquarters, and it's adorable. All right, guys. So, um, that being said, I am... Whoops. Oh, my gosh. My camera angles are just not working today. Uh, I am going to go ahead and try this beer thing. Um, did that work? Oh, there we go. Okay, uh, I did want to see what the effect would be on the screen for drinking the beer, and it is very blurry, guys, so be aware if you are going to uh, have your character drink the beer, that is going to happen, and we are losing stamina super, super fast, which is great. Um, also kind of an expected outcome, uh, to be honest, but super fun, guys. So... Uh, if you did find yourself enjoying this video at any point, please do remember to hit that like button. It seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I don't know what he did there. All right. <laughs> um, yes, links to social media are in the video description down below, as is a link to my Patreon if you guys want to check that out. And I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off. This is the Iguana.